retailers want to get us to buy more with special offers and promotions. But what about the less obvious tricks they use? Well, we got our Nola Hafner to find out whether shoppers are wise to their ways. Uh, mostly at the supermarket. There's no other counter like it. You know, the kids love it, parents hate it. What can I say? <laughs> that and putting the escalators or the lifts right where you have to travel up every floor to get where you want to. Uh, if I can see a good deal or if I've got one of those signs that says something like hot bargain or something, I'm a sucker for that every time. Oh, probably smells from bakeries and things like that, yeah. But try to steer clear of them. <laughs> <laughs> now, we think we know the tricks of the trade, but researchers are working on mind-reading marketing. That's where they monitor the brain to find out what we subconsciously like. So are we helpless against this? Dr Paul Harrison is a marketing expert from Deakin University. The, uh, good to see you. This sounds very Big Brother-ish. How do they scan your brain? <laughs> Oh, look, Kashi, they use a whole range of techniques. Um, it's the same kind of techniques that they use in hospitals when, they, when they're scanning your brain for all sorts of diseases. So they use things like an EEG machine, an electroencephalograph machine, which looks a little bit like a swing cap, but it's a bit harder and there's all these wires coming out of it. And what that does is it monitors the electrical signals going on in your brain. And then the more expensive machines to use is the fMRI machine, the magnetic resonance imaging. And what that does is it takes slices of your brain, um, not literally, but pictures of slices of your brain and looks at how the blood is flowing through different parts of the brain and what what I guess neuroscientists have been able to pick up is that certain parts of the brain fire up at certain times when you're uh, given certain stimuli so that in that package somebody talked about food you know certain parts of the brain will fire up when we smell something or certain parts of the brain will fire up when we're looking for rewards or, or emotionally um, feeling something so that would obviously mean that marketers can use this to their advantage. So can we be forced to buy something that maybe we hadn't intended on buying? Yeah, look, it, it's a tricky thing, Mel. I, the issue of being forced is one that's debated and I think one of the things we have to recognise is that uh, it works if we're goal oriented. So if we may not be conscious that we're wanting to buy something and we may be anxious about things and one of the things that marketers do is that they they raise that anxiety or they create a problem. So we may, may not be hungry, we, we may not feel hungry, but the moment that we smell the roast chicken mm. or something like that, all of a sudden the reward centre of the, of the brain light up and say, actually, this tastes really good. And so we're kind of being nudged. That's what marketers would say anyway. Okay, <laughs> so do they deliberately waft out the smell when you walk by a bakery or do they do they change colours of things or use music to influence us? Oh yeah they do Koshi and it's a highly sophisticated process and certainly you know there's, there's examples like um, there's significant research that was done looking at the way that people buy wine for example and um, one of the things that uh, research a long time ago actually found was that if you play classical music in a wine shop people spend three times more they don't buy more wine but they spend three times more on a particular bottle of wine and the, the whole argument is that you know you've got this classical music around you therefore you think I'd better buy something expensive Things like food, for example, what they've noticed with the brain scanning is that the reward centres of the brain fire up even before we actually um, taste the food. So there's this anticipation and so what we're doing is that we're searching for that. So that's why they have bakeries and that's why, you know, the bakeries will intentionally cook things at certain times of the day to get people thinking, hey, I need something to eat. Wow. So we yeah. fight it wearing earphones and sunglasses when we go and do the shopping. and It's incredible, <laughs> Just Paul. don't go out. Yeah. yeah. All right, <laughs> order you, online. Thank you very much. Just see All you. Alrighty. All right, see you. You've given my partner here the perfect excuse. It was the classical music. <laughs> <laughs> sure.